so we are in Iran and uh, Ryan and our guide are just outside going to get some um, that currency exchange and you can see I'm sitting in the car here all dressed and outside you've got Iran and that's all um, that's Iran. So this is our Razan house. Look how beautiful it is and the little courtyard down there. So pretty. So Ryan and I are in Iran and we are in this, what's it called? Hotel Rezi. Rezi. Hotel Rezi. I'm going to show you, it's really pretty. Very pretty. Day one. <laughs> so. so we're in the little rooms. Uh, so you can see outside is that little courtyard that I just showed you. And uh, this is my room. Very Iranian, Persian. Um, it's some really beautiful paintings. So you can see just, just there. Yeah, nice. Iran. Oh. All right, so Hamid. Yes. You're gonna tell us about this place that we're in. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just gonna show are. you. Yeah. yeah. We are in the Bakilo Tujar restaurant in the heart of Tehran, you know. Uh, here is a traditional restaurant. I'm gonna show you, it's beautiful. Yeah. So you can see. And the roofing and the tapestry and on the walls, it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, this is Iran. This is uh, also inside this restaurant. They've got this like beautiful little room. As you can see, so cute. Traditional Iranian. So we are at the cutest little place here on this um, path. You can see up this way and down that way. It's um, really pretty. So in Iran, this is one of the mountains that we're doing an acclimatization trek in. No fighting. Hi. And a dog. Ryan and I are in the car and we are headed to base camp for Mount Amavand. Yes! So we've just left the um, the mountaineering shelter on our way. have arrived at the mosque. You can see it's just there. And our shelter is um, all the way up there. It's like a little white dot. So I am about to find the toilet. 
Um, and then we're gonna pack up and we're gonna make our way up Mount Damavan to the next camp. So see you all up there. All right, we are setting off Hamid with this little hat. We're at the mosque, there's Ryan up ahead, and we are leaving for Mount Damavand in the background. <laughs> It's hailing and snowing on Mount Damavand. So. <laughs> Hamid is very happy. <laughs> he loves this weather. And Ryan only found out that it was going to be cold three days ago. <laughs> you can see. We're literally two hours in and um, the weather's changed. It's gotten really cold, windy and it's hailing and snowing. Woohoo! Hamid, do you have gloves? I feel like you're lying to me. Are you telling me the truth? Hamid. Honestly, I have gloves but I was stupid, I left them in the... Okay. Oh my. <laughs> now it's recording. I know it's the best. You can explain. <laughs> So hello, here we are with my friends, dear Carolina and dear Ryan. <laughs> we are in the Movand. Uh, our altitude is about 300, uh, 3,440. We are enjoying uh, our trail, now trekking. Uh, the weather is somehow rainy and beautiful yeah my friends are enjoying yeah we have about two hours to the preferred shelter of the moments south route i hope, to, I hope that the arrived there before the sunset Else, Carolina? No, that's it. It's um pretty cold, that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah. yeah. Bye bye. Let's find the summit. The summit is there. <laughs> we 
have about uh, one hour left? About one hour, yeah. One and a half? Okay, we arrived at the shelter. So it's like a little uh, yes. dome. It's really different from the one I was at last time. Um, that had like individual rooms and yeah, this is lots of people in here. Like, I don't know when was it, but 20 people. Look. Yeah, very crowded. guys we're on Damavand and we're at 4200 and this is the shelter so you can see this is the shelter that I'm staying at now oh it's really different from the one that I stayed at last time which is actually up there that's the shelter that I stayed at last time it was much much colder um, so yeah this is it I'll show you around so you get a nice little view and the summit is way up there there. Um, and this is Mount Tamazan day two. Mwah! All right, so we are <clears throat> doing our acclimatization trek. Right now we're at four three, but all of our watches say different things. And we've got Hamid yeah. and Ryan, yeah. and we're heading up to four seven today see how far we've come that's where we were way down there in the shelter there's even a helipad over there Alright, we're at summit night. Yeah. Ryan looks summit like a rubber. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we're excited. We got our snacks Ryan's on the floor. Ready, yeah. Ryan is ready. Yes. This is everything. Do you, want to, do you want to show everyone what you're wearing? It's about 7 p.m. Right. <laughs> something yeah, underneath. Ready. Socks, got some thermals. Some got my thermals again. Got <laughs> another jumper, got a hoodie. Right. This jacket ready. Well, this jacket, another jacket, <laughs> jacket. gloves, <laughs> got some, some pants to wear over there. Basically, we're ready, but you can see it looks really grim in here because yeah. the lights are off because you're trying to conserve energy because we have one light bulb and solar power. So, Hamid said he's going to carry us up the mountain yeah, we <laughs> if we don't make it. So remember that we said that <laughs> Hamid is carrying us up the mountain. So, I just need, I've got water, I just need food, clothes ready to wear. Yeah. This is the water that we're getting ready to fill. And then this is, we're about to have dinner, 7 p.m. Summer night. I'm just gonna take a video. All right, guys. Ryan's Hi. first summit night, yeah. and it's 4:20 a.m. and we're off. See you on the top of Mount Amavand. Yeah. Woo!
probably are about an hour in. You can see it's been snowing all night on Dunnerland. We are headed up there, so that little triangle is 5,000 meters, and uh, we got a couple of hours to go, about five or six hours, but there are little birds here, crazy. All right, we are almost at 5.2. The summit is up there in the distance in the clouds and uh, we're chugging along. It's like maybe 9.30, 10 o'clock, who knows, but we're persisting on and we're going. There are the guys. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We got the little pole over there where all the birdies are, marking the 5-2 mark. The summit is 400 meters away, up above. Ryan is breathing. <laughs> We're at 5,200 meters. And uh, I'm just under the pyramid and we're going up. Oh, I thought you were going to do facing you. Oh, no, it's good. Okay. So, so let you... We're at five, almost 5,400. We've got 200 meters to the summit. Right. We're sitting on a little patch of sulfur. Mm. And uh, yeah, <coughs> we're still alive. Very good. <coughs> Ryan, any last words? How do you feel? I feel fantastic. Yeah. That's the only word he has, fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> I almost slipped no. down the snow into it. Perfect. <laughs> Crevasse, fantastic. fantastic. And uh, Hamid, how are you feeling? Very good. Yes? Yes. Yes, this is a walk in the park for Hamid. So let's see me from the sunglasses off. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Hi. <coughs> this is the final push to the summit. I just got to the pole that's like. 200 meters and the summit is along that path over there ryan and and hamid are down there um not long to go almost there it's been grueling it is 12 midday we've been walking for about maybe about i can tell you actually seven hours exactly and he's so one hour to go hi guys So the summit is over there, that's me. This is the 5,400 meter pole, but I think my watch is wrong. I think this is 5,500. And Ryan and uh, Hamid are just down there and we're headed up this way. Nice and slowly. Oh, yeah. It's literally a hundred meters away. I think this is a five five thousand five hundred. And so close you can see it just over there. Really? Oh my god. I always forget how long this day is, how hard this mountain is. But it's beautiful. We're on the roof of fucking Iran and the highest volcano in all of Asia is right there. Oh, 
cyclist. Salam. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys, this is the last last 15 minutes to the summit. You can see I'm at 5,500 and almost there. 5,550 is coming up. Just there. You can see people on the top and so excited for this. Whew. Like, literally, it's 10 minutes to go. That's it. And you can see the train. I'm gonna show you around. Ryan's down there. All these people are coming down. Almost at the summit. Last 10 minutes. It's snowing. Again. So we are 10 meters away from the summit. You can see the ground is like this greeny yellow. We've been walking for seven hours seven and a half hours and we're almost there we came all the way up from the shelter at 4,200 meters and it's snowing and you can see the sulfur coming up on the summit but it's it's right there that little peak over there literally 10 meters away we're so close and we are pushing on to the summit. Hopefully we'll get there in like 10 minutes. <sighs> there are the two poles that mark the entry point and we're almost there. There are people from all around, all around coming up. We've seen people coming down from every direction, from all different countries, <sighs> climbing the highest volcano in all of Asia. See the sulfur spewing up. In shorts. <laughs> Woohoo! Very good. Yes. <laughs> Just 10 meters away. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. High five. Thank you. High five. How are you? Good, thank you. Australia. Iran, Iran. So the 
summit is just here. As usual, horrendously hard and emotional, but we're here. Right there. Ryan, we're here. Here is the summit of Mount Dumbarton, the highest volcano in all of Asia. Here we are. And here's the Iran flag. Yay! Woo! The summit! We made it. Ryan, it's just here. Just here. Oh my god, I'm fucking crying. And here, Ryan is coming up to the summit. He did it, his first mountain. Woo! And Hamid, his 50th mountain. <laughs> Seven hours and 55 minutes. I'm filming the whole ascent as well. <laughs> The amazing guy who brought us up here to the summit of Iran. Ready? Right here. Once they finish their photo, there's the video. We're on the summit of Mount Damavand. The plaque is in the background. You can see it is, um, what time is it? Like one? It's about, no, uh, 12.30. 12.30. And uh, the plaque is just here. You can see. So, we are about to go down into the crater. Yes. All right, we're coming, Hamid. No, you go first. So, we are being very careful going down into the crater. As Ryan said, he's only going to come here once. I'm going back. I'm going back to Iran. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> yep. This is the crater. <coughs> Hamid is telling us to hurry up. Wow. Oh, <coughs> fuck, it stinks. I think I'm, this is enough. It's enough. Right? If you guys want to continue. Yeah, I'm good with this too. Plus, it's getting really cloudy. Yeah, that's good. All right. I'm we're good. We walked about mm, maybe a quarter of the crater. You can see the crater in the background. It's really kind of cloudy. And, uh, and now we are walking back to the little summit ridge. Um, you can see it's <clears throat> full on snowing. <coughs> and I have this crazy cough. But um, we made it to the summit of Iran's highest mountain, Mount Amavand, the highest volcano in all of Asia, and the highest mountain in the Middle East. Yeah. I have arrived back. Okay. 
I am absolutely pooped. <laughs> but we still have two. We are saying goodbye to Mount Damavand in the distance. Bye, Mount Damavand! Mwah! I want to live a life that is extraordinary. I am doing the Volcanic Seven Summits. It's climbing the highest volcano in each of the seven continents. And I'm trying to couple it together with doing a Guinness World Record. So climbing all seven volcanoes in the fastest possible time. I have always been really, really active. My friends and I used to climb these massive cliffs in Kuji. And I uh, used to climb literally 100 meter cliffs look over the, the cliff faces and then climb all the way back down and then go surfing. So I moved to Dubai about 13 years ago and I realized when I moved here that something that used to make me feel alive was to be physically active. I really get inspired by people who are doing amazing things with their life. And I think as well for myself, I want to live a life that is extraordinary and sometimes some of the things that I think of doing are crazy and I, I know that, but um, I want to be proud of who I am and I want to be proud of what I do. Okay, come here. This is the husky. <laughs>